Our top story this hour, it's about a controversial health class assignment at a high school in Eugene. It has parents upset to say the least, and I think when you hear the details, you'll understand why. It's even drawn a response from Oregon Governor Tina Cotet. Yeah, so this assignment that we're talking about at Churchill High School asked students to share a sexual fantasy. Our Devin Haskins joins us in studio this morning. And Devin, school officials say they are now reviewing that curriculum. Yeah, Christine, that's correct. It's part of the Health 2 Human Sexuality class at Churchill High School. The health classes use a curriculum called OWL, meaning our whole lives. It was developed by the Unitarian Universalist Association and the United Church of Christ and adopted by the school district seven years ago. The assignment in question asked students to write a paragraph or two about a sexual fantasy, but without penetration. The last line of the assignment says it's to show that you can show and receive loving physical affection without having sex. In an email to parents, the school's principal says the OWL curriculum is endorsed by the Oregon Department of Education. But according to the Oregonian, a spokesperson for the ODE says OWL is not on that list. Parents in the district. Rightfully so, we're furious once they learned of the assignment. I'm not an expert on our whole life. I know what I can find on the internet. I know what I've read from the Oregon Department of Education. I see nowhere where it should be talking about your sexual fantasies. I'm going to ask the superintendent to make some really hard decisions here about the curriculum or the individual who's teaching the wrong curriculum. That class assignment even gaining the attention of Governor Tina Kotek. A representative for Kotek sent KGW this statement when asked about the assignment. They write, the governor is appalled and thinks these assignments are woefully inappropriate and unacceptable. They do not reflect educational best practices or Oregon standards. Now this is not the first assignment that's raised some eyebrows. A previous assignment from that class from February was titled, With Whom Would You Do It? Students spun a wheel with various sexual acts on it. And then were asked to list the initials of a male or a female that they would do the each activity with. The teacher of this class is new to the district and a football coach for the school. The school district now says the sexual fantasy assignment will be removed from the class syllabus and will not count towards the students' grades. Christine. Okay, thank you, Devin.